Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have one interesting tutorial for you guys. It's about the ID maps and how to use them in regardless of any software that you're using. Okay, if you're using Trace Max, if you're using Maya, ZBrush, Blender, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. This is the process. You're gonna add a material with a base color in it to the you know to the model that you want to capture the uh, the ID mask from. In this case, I'm using the high poly to do that. So I'm just going to select the parts that I want and I'm going to put them in the same material uh, like you see over here. They share the same material. This is a, just a basic material. There's nothing fancy about this. It's just a color. It's just a flat color for a suit and painter to grab from. Okay. So once you have that to create that, you have all that stuff. You're just going to export. Once you export, he's going to bring all those materials with it. So let's go to suit and painter. And now that we're here, if you see in the bake, I already have the bake right here with the ID maps, or the ID color. And if I go here to, I'm gonna go all the way to ID map, you can see that's the one right there. And now let's see how can we use this. And just to show you how useful it is to have uh, ID maps. I know I, I went a little overboard with it, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna need like, you know, what, what, what exactly I was going to do, so. I just went with it and I created a bunch of ID maps for me to use in case I need it. So I'm just going to create a basic material here and I'm going to pick a color here and going to go something like that and a little bit of roughness here, full metallic, there you go. And I'm like, you know what, I feel like the body here is not going to be metallic, it's going to be, um, it's going to have a, a paint layer over here and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to put a name body and I put uh, another material over there. I'm going to the folder in the outside. I'm going to go here with the black mask, right click, add color selection. Once you do that, you're going to go over here to the properties panel and I'm going to go pick color and it's going to bring the ID map. And now you're going to pick the one you want. In this case, it's going to be the green, it's going to be the body one. There you go. Boom. One little disclaimer here. If you close one of these little windows that I have for you floating here in the screen, they're gonna go here on the side. Just in case you look, you're wondering why his UI is not like mine. Well, I just untoggle this and I just move it on the side and I put it over there. Just, just in case, okay? All right, so now that we have this, we already selected the body and it's already like this folder right here. It's entirely gonna be just for the body right there. And only, I feel like I wanna create another one just for like the like the base like the base of the structure and just gonna do the same process right click black mass right click add a color selection do the same thing and pick the one there you go and bam now this one is gonna be i don't know it's gonna be like a very like rusted kind of thing looking and of course metallic oh that's too much and something like this uh we, we, this is just for now this is an you know, just, just to show you the power of the ID maps. And then we're gonna create another, and this one's gonna be the bolts. Oops, bolts, there you go. Get another one. And same thing, black mass, add a color selection, pick, and we're gonna pick the one for the bolts. There you go. And something like this, and like that. And there you go. So that's how you control your, uh, the prop and, you know, like using the item maps to store texturing. And I want to create one more here for this, the plates, metal plates. Oh my God, I keep adding that. Metal plates, another one. Black mask, right click, add a color selection. And I'm going to pick this purple right here. There you go. And I feel like I need another, I'm like, you know what? I think I can add another one to that. And you can also, yeah, you can do that. You can pick as many as you want. So I'm, I'm gonna add this, this one right here. There you go. And I'm gonna be like, this is gonna be like that, full metallic, something like this, very shiny. There you go. And now for the body, I'm gonna put it like a little nice, blue something like that and that's how you separate that kind of stuff there you go and i'm like you know what i feel like i i want to add those into this selection the same paint layer 
I'm gonna select the blue. There you go. All right. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, that that is how you do it. Just create the layer. In this case, I'm using a folder, but you can totally use. Like, let's say that I'm, I have, I want to do the same thing, but I just, I don't want to use a folder. I want to use, uh, you know, a regular uh, fill layer. It is the same thing. Add a black mask. Add a color selection, and you're just gonna pick one. In this case, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be those right there. And now, so you have those. I'm gonna be like, this is gonna be some sort of like that, or yeah, that's fine. Metallic. This is too dark. There we go. So you can add that either to like a folder or um, you know a fill layer, whatever. So that's to separate your uh, texturing process. You do not to be more clean about it. Because otherwise you're gonna have a mess with all the you know, the masks and, sh and stuff you know floating around. And in this case, I know already uh, which one is which because I have you know I have the names. You can also, but if you want to be more organized, you can just uh, color code. Like the base is probably gonna be like uh, I don't know a red. The bolt's gonna be this yellow. Metal plate's gonna be a blue. And once you expand the folder, it's gonna show you. You know, let's say that I, I'm just gonna duplicate this a bunch of times so you can see. You can see that all of those are blue over here, so that's how you know that those are from that folder. The same thing with this one, you can see that, you know, it's easy to identify what's going on, like, you know, color code and be more organized when you're doing that kind of stuff. So there you go. ID maps, super useful. It's really good to know about those, you know, about them and how to use them, how to create them. It's gonna help you a ton to be more organized and clean when you're doing the texturing process. All right, so that's it. Hope you like it, and please hit the like button, you know, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.